Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So we just returned home for the holidays after living in our RV on the road full time for over nine months. And it's been a great time catching up with friends and family, but right now is also a great time to catch up on some of that long overdue RV maintenance. So today we're gonna take care of sanitizing our freshwater tanks as well as some hot water heater maintenance. Before we start sanitizing our freshwater tanks, first we wanna go ahead and dump and flush our black and gray water tanks. Now, if you haven't seen how we do that, check this video out right here. The only difference between the video and right now is when we're done flushing our tanks, we're not gonna treat them until we're done sanitizing our freshwater system. So the recommendation is you sanitize your freshwater tank system in your RV at least once a year. However, since we live in ours full time and we use it quite regular, we decided we're gonna do it twice a year. But it does take planning because while you're doing this process, you won't have running water in your RV and it's gonna smell like bleach. That's why this time we chose to wait until we came home from the holidays and we weren't staying in it so we could take our time and do it correctly. Okay, I just finished up dumping and flushing our black and gray water tanks. Now it's time to start sanitizing our freshwater system. Before we start sanitizing our freshwater system, I like to go ahead and take care of the hot water heater side of things. So let's go inside and make sure it's off. So before we start taking things apart out there, we wanna make sure our hot water heater is off and that there's no longer any hot water in the system. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna turn off my electric element, my gas element, and I'm gonna come over to the kitchen sink and I'm gonna turn the hot water tap on until there's no longer any hot water coming out of the system. Now that we're done inside with the hot water, we're gonna come outside and we're gonna remove this access panel. Once we're here, we wanna locate this switch right here. This is your main cutoff for your electrical elements. We're gonna turn it off. And then we're gonna come up here to this relief valve and we're gonna pop that lever to bleed off all remaining pressure in the system before we start working on it. Time to remove the hot water heater anode. So here is our hot water heater anode rod, and from the looks of it, it was doing its job. It's been in there about nine months now, and it's definitely time to change it. Just for reference, here's a new one. You can see there is a buildup of mineral and deposits in our hot water heater tank. So we're gonna go ahead and hook this guy up and clean and flush our tank. As you can see, there's plenty of minerals and deposits coming out of our tank right now. I will repeat this process until the water runs clear. Now that the water is running clear out of the hot water tank, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the anode rod out while I sanitize my fresh water system so that I can ensure that I have my hot water tank bypassed and I'm not filling it full of bleach. Now that we have the hot water heater tank drained, we have one more step before we can start sanitizing our freshwater system. And that is to remove the filter from this housing. Now we run two filters in our system. We have this one right here, which is on board the camper. And we have that guy right there, which is in line from the faucet. So let's go ahead and get that filter out of that housing. Here's the filter from that housing. This is the onboard filter. We normally change this one every three months. Now the one over there on the spigot that's in line, we change it monthly. Now that we have the filter housing back on, it's time to start sanitizing our freshwater system. And to do that, we're gonna use bleach. Now the recommended ratio is one cup of bleach for every 50 gallons of water. Where our freshwater system is 150 gallons. So we're gonna put three cups of bleach into our freshwater holding tanks. Our rig has the Nautilus P1 system and it makes it very easy to winterize and sanitize your RV. Now for our first step, we wanna fill our fresh water tanks with our bleach and water mixture using our onboard pump. So we're gonna set all of our dials to the sanitized position. Then we're gonna attach this small water hose to our water inlet. And then we're gonna use the onboard pump to siphon the water and bleach mixture from our bucket into our fresh water holding tanks. I mentioned that I left my hot water heater anode rod out to make sure I don't fill my hot water tank with my bleach and water mixture. Now the Nautilus P1 system takes care of that for you because this one right here is the one that bypasses your hot water tank. We just leave the water heater anode rod out to make sure there is no water and bleach getting in the system. It's time to add our bleach and water mixer to our fresh water system. And to get a head start, I went ahead and pre-filled my fresh water tanks to about 75% full. Now we're gonna take one cup of bleach and mix it in five gallons of water and use our onboard pump to siphon it in to the fresh water holding tanks. OK, 
Okay, we have our first mixture of five gallons of water to one cup of bleach. Now we're gonna come over here and make sure our dials are set to the correct position to sanitize to the freshwater tank, and then we'll turn our pump on. Now it's gonna suck the water out into the freshwater system. We just finished pumping our first bucket of bleach and water mixture into our freshwater holding tanks. Since we have a 150 gallon freshwater system, we're gonna repeat the process two more times to ensure we have the correct ratio. We're filling our fresh water system with our bleach and water mixture. And because we left the anode rod out, we can verify that we are bypassing the hot water heater and not filling it full of bleach and water. Now that we have put our three cups of bleach into our fresh water system, we're gonna hook the water hose back up, switch over to power fill mode, and we're gonna top off our tanks until they run out the overflow. Now that our freshwater tanks are topped off and running out the overflow, we are done with step one, which was to fill our freshwater tanks with a bleach water mixture. Now we're gonna switch over to winterize. The difference between winterize and sanitize is on sanitize, we are pumping from our bucket to our freshwater tanks. And winterize, we're gonna pump from our bucket to the fixtures throughout the RV. We have our bleach and our water mixed. We're gonna come over here and verify we are in the winterized position and we're gonna turn the pump on. The pump should turn on, it prime itself and stop. All right, now we know we have pressure on the system. For our next step, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna turn on each faucet throughout the entire camper, both hot and cold, until we smell bleach water running out. That way we can ensure we have properly sanitized all of our water lines. I'm gonna start back here in our rear bathroom sink. I'm gonna turn on the cold water tap until I smell bleach water. Okay, I smell bleach. Now we'll do the same for the hot water side. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing for the rear toilet. We've ran our hot and cold side till we smell bleach in the rear shower, the rear sink, and the cold side of the toilet. Now it's time to move on to the kitchen. Okay, now that the kitchen is done, we're gonna head up to the master bathroom and take care of all those fixtures up there. So here in the master bathroom, we have the master sink, the master toilet, and the master shower. We're gonna start with the sink. Now that we finished up sanitizing the toilet, the sink, and the shower, and the master bath, we're gonna head up to the washing machine to take care of it. Now that we've handled all the inside faucets, we actually have two of these outside faucets we need to make sure we take care of. Now that we've filled our freshwater tank with our bleach and water mixture, and we've ensured that all of our lines throughout the RV are full as well, we're gonna let it sit for 12 to 24 hours before moving on to the next step. It's the next day and our bleach and water mixtures had just over 12 hours to soak in our freshwater tank and lines. Up next is the most time consuming part. We need to move that bleach and water mixture from our freshwater tank into our gray and black tanks using our onboard pump. Now that we're done transferring our bleach and water mixture from our freshwater tank into our black and gray tanks, it's time to hook the water hose back up and top off our freshwater tank with fresh water. Now that we've topped off our freshwater tank with water, you have two choices on what you can do next. One, you can go ahead and flush all that fresh water throughout the system. Or two, if you have time, you can let that fresh water sit in your freshwater tank overnight and your bleach and water mixture sit overnight in your black and gray tanks. Since we have time, we're gonna let them sit overnight. So we've let our fresh water tank sit with fresh water overnight and our black and gray tanks have been sitting with the bleach and water mixture. Now it's time to move on to the last step, which is to run all of our fresh water throughout the entire system. Now, if we were on the road, I would have skipped the step of letting it sit overnight and gone straight to flushing. But since we had the time, I decided to let it sit one more day. Before we get started, let's go ahead and dump our black and gray tanks so we can have room for the fresh water. Now, the next step is we're gonna use our onboard pump to transfer the water from the fresh water tank throughout all the lines and fixtures in the RV, making sure we get a good flush. Now that we're inside, we're gonna go to every single faucet or water fixture throughout the entire RV and run as much water as we can through both the hot and the cold side to ensure we flush the lines of all the bleach. 
So we just finished running all the fresh water throughout our entire system. It can no longer smell bleach in the camper. But if you do, just top off your fresh water tank and repeat the flushing process one more time. Now that we're done flushing, there's a few more things left to do. One of them being, it's time to install a new filter and an onboard filter housing. Up next, we're gonna change the inline filter. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install a new anode rod in our hot water heater tank. we've installed a new anode rod in our hot water heater tank. Now there's one thing left to do out here before we put the cover back on. That's to make sure we turn back on the electrical disconnect for our electrical side of the hot water heater. If we forget to do so, only the propane side will work and not the electrical side. The last thing to do is to take your hot water heater tank out of bypass and begin filling the system full of water. Now we're gonna leave this relief valve right here open to purge the air out of the tank while we're filling. And as soon as water comes out of here, you can close the valve. That's how we sanitize and maintain our freshwater systems on our RV while living full time on the road. I hope it helps you out. If you have any questions, comment down below. Thanks for watching.